And with that said, let's get into our guest speaker this day. This young man is no surprise to us. We love, I don't know about you, but I love having him on. Uh, he got started in October 27th of 2013. So I take good notes. And he made a decision. Oh my God. He talked about that last week on June the 7th. He said he made a what? A decision. And when he said that, I got excited, Sam Foster, because have you made a decision to go to international? Have you made a decision to get to the next next promotion? I know you have, Sharon. Have you put a date behind that decision? He said he made a decision and he became, write this down, quote, I quote, he said, I became a student of the game. Mm. I became a student of the game. The key is to be consistent over a long period of time. Wow. And with that said, can we give a warm welcome to this Wednesday to none other than the great, the one and only uh, Wolfpack founder, the one and only Mr. Shaquille Cooper. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be back again. Um, It's crazy. The event is in Baltimore. That's why I just started ACN and just thinking now we've never had a convention there before, but now, 10 years later, the business has expanded tremendously throughout the whole entire U.S. But the fact that uh, for my 10 year anniversary, ACN has came back to where I started the business. So for me, it's just a really big deal because what it's going to do is it's going to help take my business to the next level. And the reason why I said that, because I was just doing some thinking. I just made a post about the car. I'm like, man, 10 years later, I remember when I was telling people, you know, what if 10 years later, you're still making money for something that you did in 2013? And the fact that 10 years later, we're still getting paid. So to me, it's mind blowing. And I have this business conversation with my business partners all the time. I'm like, no matter what people ever said about ACN, everyone that had anything negative to say, they're still not getting paid 10 years later on something that they did 10 years before. So who's the one really winning? See, when you start something, a lot of people are going to laugh at you. They're going to tell you it don't work. They're going to tell you a whole bunch of everything. But this is going digital. There's no reason why you're not finding creative ways to help market your business. See, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about what I'm doing right now to reinvent my brand, myself as a brand, to now attract more time millionaires, the rooms that I'm getting myself into, paying to get into networking events and things like that. But the first thing I want to say is that building a successful business, it requires careful planning, execution, and perseverance. Again, you're going to hear some of these things that I maybe spoke about in the past, but the reason why, because success leaves clues. You got to understand that it's a reason why I keep hitting home on some of the few things, and it's because success leaves clues, right? So while there are many factors that contribute to success, here are seven essential things that you need to consider. So again, here are seven essential things that you need to consider. Number one, develop a clear business plan. Now that you're a business owner, what's your business plan? Imagine going to the bank and say, hey, can you loan me some money? They're going to ask you for a business plan. So if you don't have anything planned, listen, they said people that don't plan, plan to fail. Because if you don't have any plan, how are you going to get there? Think about it, right? If you don't have any type of direction, imagine just saying, you know what? I want to get in my car and drive to the other side of the country, right? But you have no map. You have no navigation. You don't know where to stop. You probably might not even make it out of your city before you run out of gas. Because most people, they don't have any plans. They just go, 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 right? So start outlining your business goals. Again, your target market your competitive landscape, and what are your strategies for growth? See, if you're not seeing your company in the next five years, 10 years, 15 years, if you don't see any type of growth, then I'm telling you, you have to reevaluate your plan because at the end of the day, this business is no different than any other business. You have to have a business plan. The moment that I signed my name on that paperwork, I said, I'm going to the top. I didn't say I'm going to hit it halfway. I said, I am going to the top and I'm not stopping until I become a senior vice president. I don't care how long it takes. I had a business goal from day one. Number two, understand your target market. I spoke about this before. Again, if you don't have any target, how are you going to hit that target? You just can't be out there just trying to get any and everybody that might want the opportunity. You have to have a target 
audience, right? Do your research. So for me, what I'm doing now is I'm starting to go to networking events with people that's involved in real estate, different industries, people that's and maybe they late 20s, early 30s. And the reason why, because we're all millennials, right? I want to get into different networks of people that's doing big things in the city. So tomorrow I'm going to this event in Houston. It's the Entrepreneur Awards, right? For all of the top entrepreneurs in Houston, Texas, I got me a VIP ticket, red carpet. You know, I'm going to have my suit on. I'm going to go get my hair braided. I'm going to go to the barbershop and get cleaned up. And I'm going to go walk into that room like I belong there. See, if you're not putting yourself in these positions, how will people know who you are if you're not out there marketing your business? If you're not out there networking, shaking hands, and people knowing who you are, then you can't build your business from your home. Yes, you can build it from your home, but are you going to build a big business? Because at the end of the day, your ultimate goal was to build a big business, right? You have to go out there, do the market research, and now push yourself in the rooms for the people that you want to become like. Maybe the people that know people that you might want to know. Because in Houston, Texas, what I love about it is that you can know one person that know everybody. It is not hard to meet celebrities and other type of people here because it's just how it is, right? Number three, build a strong brand. If you don't have a brand, what do you really have? If you don't have no brand, at the end of the day, what are you marketing, right? When you think about Nike, Nike is a brand. When you think about Adidas, when you think about ACN, you think about any major company, they are a brand. And guess what? People buy into brands. See, we don't buy iPhones because of all of the technical things that it does. We buy iPhones because we love the Apple brand. Who in here love Apple and don't like Android? That's me. I am not an Android person. Why? Because I am loyal to the brand. I don't know why. I've always had a MacBook, iPad, everything Apple, right? Except for the watches and all the little gadgets. But I'm loyal to the brand. People ask me all the time, why are you loyal to the brand? I don't know. I'm just loyal to the brand. So just think about it. What if you build a brand that people are just loyal to? No matter what you do, they want to be a part of it. See, think about it like this, right? Why do major companies use certain celebrities to market their brand because they know that that celebrity what no matter what they sell it if they attach their name to it it's going to sell out there's been a lot of celebrities that have all kind of performance shoes what type of performance does any of most of these celebrities do if you don't play sports but guess what people still go out there and they still buy it right so your brand is very important you have to build a strong brand establish a brand that just stand out from everybody. When I first got involved in ACM, it was the Wolf Pack. And people used to laugh at the name. You used to be like, wow. I'm like, I'm building a pack of people that everybody plays a different position. Because if you don't have a team and you're the only person out there trying to make things happen, I can promise you it's going to take you a long time. See, I always learned that there's people that's better than me. So what you have to do is just find those people Put them in position on your team and let them help you win while they also get a chance to win at the same time because I can't do everything. I'm not great at everything, but what I am great at is recruiting other people and putting them in position to win. You got to be great at recruiting other people. Think about it. If you're building a Fortune 500 companies, you can't just hire anybody. You want to hire the right team, the best people. Just think about any major corporation. They always try to hire who? The best. Number four develop a solid marketing strategy. How are you marketing yourself? Marketing is everything. Every business, most of their money goes into what? Marketing. When you see a commercial, that's marketing. How many times do you see a commercial? Every single day. Do that company only have one commercial? No, they might have 10 to 15 different commercials selling the same product. How are you marketing yourself? See, I find all kinds of ways to market myself. I posted a video last night. So my car, you can click on it, and it's called a light show. So when you click on a light show, the music start playing, and the lights just start dancing. That's marketing. How many people have a light show in their car? See, to some people, they think it's bragging, but no, it's marketing. I'm finding different ways to stand out from everybody else. I'm sitting in the hood of my car, but there's no engine there. It's a trunk. While I'm, It's a light show going on. To me, that's marketing. I haven't seen that before. So I want to do things that stand out. And guess what? Not everybody's going to understand it, but I know for a fact that it stand out. Now I started paying for ads on social media, right? Because guess what? The more people that see me, 
the more people that want to do business with me. See, if you're not finding a way how to market yourself or you're not putting up no money into your brand, then guess what? It's going to take you a little longer to build what you're trying to build. And I'm trying to build it right now, right? So develop a solid marketing strategy. Be different. Use different types of social medias. I don't like getting on Facebook. Well, guess what? I know I got a whole market on Facebook of people that don't follow me on Instagram. So guess what? I'm going to market to them also. It's all about marketing, right? Number five. Provide exceptional customer service. You want to provide the best customer service. Why? Because people will always remember that. Just think about Chick-fil-A. We all can agree that McDonald's have the worst customer service, right? They have the worst customer service. So again, just imagine having a Chick-fil-A type like business. And now you have people that they just want to come to you just because you just deliver great customer service. That's all you do is deliver great customer service. We can agree there's other places that the food tastes way better than Chick-fil-A, but I don't know any business, any business, I don't know any business that has the better than Chick-fil-A. I just don't know. To me, I just don't know. So number six, build a talented team again. You want to surround yourself with skilled individuals who share your vision and bring something to the table. See, if people are not bringing anything to the table, they're taken from the table. You want to develop a great team of talented people where every person plays a position. We can't agree on a basketball team, right? They have the person that shoot the three-pointers. They have the person that do the dunks. They have the person that's tall, that's just the center. Everybody plays a different position in order to build a championship team. We can agree that there has been another team that the Denver Nuggets, I believe, that just won the championship. Once I noticed that, man, every team have different people that plays a different position, I needed to do the same thing with my company. So when I chose about building my network marketing company, that's people that know how to speak better than me. That's people that might be better than talking to people. Everybody plays that position. So for me, I just got to master what I'm good at. And you got to do the same thing. Master what you're good at and find other people that's great at what they do and help them go to the next level, right? Number seven, the last one, monitor your finances and adapt. Again, if you don't monitor your finances, listen, if you're just spending money and you don't know what you're doing with the money, guess what's going to happen? You're going to lose out on a lot of money because no matter how much money you gain in this opportunity, your ultimate goal should be back. Put the money back into your brand. Put the money back into your business. Don't just go off there and just try to buy the fancy cars and the big house and the condos. No. Put that money back into your business. For the past 10 years, I've been putting my money back into my brand over and over. And that's why 10 years later, I am still relevant to this day. People hit me up all the time. Man, you still, I'm still relevant because I continue to put money into my brand. Because as long as people see you, if people know you for being doing good business, if people know you for hustling hard, people know you for grinding, if people know you for doing good business, guess what's going to happen? No matter what you do, they want to be a part of it. And that's the secret to success. Do good business. Be a person of your word. Help people. Listen, if you said you're going to get involved in the business to help people, help them. Pour into them. Don't just be that person that just care about money. Yes, we need money, but guess what? I can promise you, the more people that you help, the more money you make. And guess what? It's going to happen by default. You want to get to the point in your business where you are no longer chasing people. They're chasing you. You want you don't want to chase people. You want them to say, hey, man, whatever you're doing, I want to do it. See, because people know me for being successful in one thing, no matter what I say I'm doing also at the moment, they want to be a part of it. Why? Because success leaves clues. It's the reason why my business is continuing to grow until this day, and it's only going to the next level. Because guess what? Success leaves clues. At the end of the day, you can read about the industry all you want. You can watch videos. But if you don't go out there and build your brand and you become the walking brand, it's going to take you a little longer. So, Mr. Thomas, hopefully you guys were able to get something out of the car today. I'm just trying to keep it short and sweet and straight to the point because, honestly, it's not complicated. It's really not complicated. I am not the smartest person. I am not the sharpest person. But I can tell you that I just out hustle everybody and I learn from other people's mistakes. It's hard to stop me because every single day that I wake up, I got to go get it. I don't need nobody to motivate me. I don't need no external motivation. I am the, the motivation. Like, it's crazy to just wake up every single day 
and just want to become better than the day before. It's in all aspects of your life, not just in business. I said to myself, man, if I don't want to go to the gym today, then I better eat healthy. See, most people, they, they understand that how you do one thing is how you do everything. So again, go out there and make it happen and just do the work. You can't hide from the work. You got to do the work. You got to put in years and years and years. You got to be a master at what you do. Because if you're not a master at what you do and you try to do a bunch of different things, you're just going to be the person that's just trying things and not the person that actually said, you know what? I actually put five, 10 years into something and grew one thing that now is just going to just grow into many other different things. Why? Because you was able to stay down and build a successful network marketing business when you know that the everyday average person, they don't stick along for more than 30 days. How many years do you have in the game? See, it's, it's not about how fast you get involved and have success, but how long can you stay in the game? Is your business still growing 10 years later or is your business degrading 10 years later? My business is still growing. I don't even know these people, but they're getting reps, they're getting customers. And I just looked today, we got some more payouts coming in the next 48 hours. Are you still getting paid in the next 48 hours? Ask yourself that question. Every Friday and Saturday when they see and cut that check, is some of that hitting your bank account? I don't care if it's $100. Because if you've made $100 every single week, that's an extra $5,200 a year. And you can do something with that. See, it's not about the amount. It's about the fact that it's coming in consistently. Because after a while, it's going to be 500 Then it might be 1000 a week. Then it might be 2000 a week. Then you might get to the point, it might be five figures a month. But you have to do it consistently. Don't focus on the amount. Just focus on... We need to get a check cut every single week. No matter what, a check need to be cut. So if you focus on that, because if you get a check, then guess what? Somebody else get a check. And if somebody else get a check, it's all tied. Nobody's getting checks, then what y'all doing? This is business. Listen, it's great to talk to you guys all this, but at the end of the day, if you ain't making no money, then are you really in business? Do you want a for-profit or a non-profit? I want a for-profit to be able to feed the non-profit. But you can't have a non-profit and feed the profit. It just doesn't work like that. Go out there, become profitable in the business, and just make some money. Listen, when you make money, man, with this, when, once you start making money, you don't have to convince people to do business with you. That's all I got. If you start making money, you don't have to convince anybody to do business with you. They will be blowing up your phone.